Welcome everyone. This is our big off-roading trip of 2022. This all uh, started three years ago. We found a picture online of an alpine trail that we'd never ran before. And through a little bit of uh, online research and talking to some people, we located where it was. And it took a few years to actually make it happen. And we are, here we are. So last night we left Kelowna, or I guess yesterday morning we left Kelowna. Uh, we headed a few hours north. We stopped at uh, Farwell Canyon and checked out the old Pothole Ranch. That was kind of neat to see, kind of unusual terrain for what we're used to in BC. And then we headed uh, even further northwest of there, passed through a First Nations community last night, uh, found a spot to camp. And then this morning we hit the trail and we're just stopping at this nice river here for lunch. And the plan is to head further up. It's, this is a long trail, it's about 70 kilometers um, each way. So we're going up there, we're headed to a abandoned mine site that's up in the Alpine. So hopefully we make it there today and we can camp up top. Morning everyone. As you can see, we are finally up in this spot, high elevation in the Chilcotin. So after you saw us last yesterday, we started along the trail and we ran into a old man by the name of Fritz, who unfortunately we could not film, but he was a character. He lived in this area in this valley for 35 years and runs a trapping school here. He uh, was kind enough to invite us into his house, show us a bunch of his pelts and tell us lots of cool stories and local knowledge on the area. And uh, he even even picked us lettuce from his garden. So we had that with our tacos last night. And just uh, yeah, a real character for sure. And he gave us some insight on the trail that was up ahead as he had been up here clearing uh, logs and doing some cutting a few weeks prior. And then uh, after we uh, left Fritz's house, we head up the trail and pretty soon got uh, got stopped by a pretty big landslide and it looked pretty sketchy to go across the, the it was pretty off camber but uh, after a little bit of messing around and digging and whatnot we managed to get passable and it was still really sketchy like you you're on a really big angle but we didn't even slide that much when we cross it so we did that and uh, yeah. next was the bridge yeah then the bridge the bridge yeah the bridge is pretty sketchy as well um, but we crossed yeah. all of it. Yeah, like yeah, we got we got here. Mining company who had built this road had closed the bridge, and then uh, I believe Fritz or other local people had uh, <clears throat> put two by fours basically over where they'd pulled the deck boards off, so that way it was still passable for a quad. So to fit this thing across was a tight <laughs> squeeze, but we made it. Um, yeah, and then we came upon the old. Mining camp. It's not actually too old. I believe it was shut down in 2008. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of trailers up here and vehicles and gen sets and water pumps and just it was all left here. And it's, it's neat to see, but it's kind of a shame because they just basically littered and left all their yeah. stuff here. But it is cool to check out and explore. And then from there, we crossed another bridge and started heading up into the Alpine. When we got up there, we hit another little roadblock. This one wasn't as bad. It didn't do any uh, changing of the landscape or any nothing of that. Major, so yeah. Nothing major, just maybe move a couple rocks. But there was basically a big pipe uh, across ditch, a cross -ditch uh, redirecting water from the river. And uh, we had to cross that, but it was all washed out. It was washed out pretty bad on the side of it. But even the Tacoma made it, like everything made it without, uh, without any hiccups. and. I think that was our last obstacle until yeah, we got and here. Yeah, as we got past there, it just started to get really overgrown. Like, yeah. Probably yeah. in like 10 years, you may not be able to even do this trail and, unless people start cutting it or start maintaining it. But it's, yeah, it's getting pretty overgrown, yeah. pretty washed out in some spots. But yeah, with all that said and done, uh, here we are. Finally, after finally three years. It. Yeah, three, three years, years of planning this. So yeah, finally got up here. Yeah. Honey, honey, get the kids in the car now. Put the cash in the trunk, get the keys, let's go. Hit the biggest bank in Chicago For all of that, with the thieves you know 
Remember the thing that I told you three years, two moons ago. Promise I'll be right behind you. But you're gonna die if you don't hit the road. Keep your lights down. Keep your voice down low. Hear that, John? What's that, Nick? Well, see, he has a caliper missing a bolt on this side, so, you know, if he just took the bolt out of the caliper from the other side, then it would fit this side, just almost like it was meant to fit. That's true. Yeah. Chow, why don't you do that? And then he'd be left with another dilemma on his hands. The mm. caliper on the other side would be missing a bolt. It's kind of like a, you start to, I don't know, probably fall into a black hole if you get on doing that. <laughs> and I know you're real mad at you're on your way to some kind of life nice. Go down now, go down now, go down, go down Promise me to treat your mother nice And I'll meet you in Idaho All right, so after checking out the mine and coming off the trail yesterday, we were totally exhausted from uh, probably 10 hours of driving without too many breaks. Uh, we had one little issue, Chell lost a caliper bolt, actually almost lost both caliper bolts on the left side. So we ended up stopping in the Namaya Valley dump and scavenged a few scrap vehicles, found some bolts that work, got them in and got them tight. And then we ended up going to Choco Lake got in real late but the drive-in was really nice uh, passing through all these ranch lands and golden hour was a pretty nice sight and then we just kind of went to bed pretty late there got up in the morning started making our way further east and we were starting to get pretty burned out so we decided that we wanted to take sort of a relaxing day and just lay back for a while recuperate so here we are we're just uh, at this lake here Nice views of the mountains behind us. Uh, earlier, me and Chell were doing some fishing on the paddle boarding, caught some small rainbows, and uh, yeah, now we're just sitting back around a fire, making some dinner, and uh, yeah, tomorrow we are going to be heading out on a different trail that is kind of questionable. So supposedly, there may be a rock slide blocking access, but we've heard from other people that we might make it. So we're gonna find out tomorrow in the morning, and uh, we'll go from there.